So today the vast wilderness of southern Utah is mostly desert filled with juniper and dried out washes, but 75 million years ago is beachfront property. It's much more like a swamp in southern Utah, much more like Louisiana than the state it is today. And in those swamps, this was the top predator. This is Dinosuchus, the largest crocodile that ever lived, actually a giant alligator, a cousin of today's American alligators. And this was the apex predator of its time. You think in the, in the age of the dinosaurs, tyrannosaurs or some other predatory dinosaur would be the absolute top. But in 75 million year old Utah, there's nothing that could match Dinosuchus for size or for weight. And you can tell that this was a really exquisitely adapted ambush predator. You can see those eye sockets on top and that low profile along the snout allowing it to stay hidden in those swamps to ambush unwary dinosaurs. And we know it did that because we have dinosaur bones with Dinosuchus bite marks on them. And once it nabbed those dinosaurs, it's a very particular way of feeding. If you look at those teeth at the front of the jaw, those are grabbers. They're canine-like teeth. They're meant to pierce and stab and grab. You know, a tyrannosaur comes down to the water for a drink, grabs it around the neck, grabs it around the leg, whatever it can get, holds it, uses a crushing bite, possibly to drown that tyrannosaur. Once it's dead, throw that body back towards the back of the jaw and use all those really bulbous, almost bullet-shaped teeth. Those are the crushers. Those are the teeth that could crack a turtle shell open like a walnut. Really, in the entire history of life on Earth, there are few animals that have been as excellently suited to taking, killing, and processing prey as Dinosuchus.